And now we're on top of Lowell Street on the corner of Weston. Weston Street, rather. And we're just going to head straight down Lowell Street. And there's a lot of old, beautiful buildings here, such as that one. But this one in particular is the one I wanted to film because it still has the um, the, the old window awnings on it. And this is a beautiful building on the corner of Beacon Street. Go ahead. We'll take a good look at it. Look at that top window. Very stunning. And it has the carriage house attached to it. And that middle door was a hayloft, if you, if you don't know that, rather. And we'll spin around. How you doing? You know, I try to imagine, you know, 90% of the city used to look like this. Look at those spiral columns, that's so cool. Incredible. And the same with this one. This one's also a stunner. It needs a paint job, but it's in excellent shape. Look at that carriage house. Wow. I hate invading people's privacy, but sometimes I have to. <laughs> Amazing. That one I'll definitely look up, and the one previous to that one, number 428. It's so hard to not, you know, get off track and go down all these side roads, but I have to go down, down um, Lowell Street, that's my goal. But look at that building, that thing's gorgeous, it really is. Wow, I mean, they, the siding's not original, but it's still a beautiful building. And they're really everywhere, everywhere you look. On the corner of Concord and Belmont Street. All right, I gotta get back to Lowell Street. <laughs> like I said, I always get sidetracked when I'm making these videos. And I've biked by here at least 20 times over the summer, but I still get all these buildings, I'm still in awe, you know? They're beautiful. That one's still got the original slate roof on it. Like I always say, slate roofs are the best. If you have the money to afford one, get a slate roof, they last forever. Back to Lowell Street. Yeah, I'll do some research on some of these buildings. I'm sure there's some information I can find. Like it, like I said, I'll, I'll just caption off the information. And if there's any pictures, I'll post them. I mean, these buildings are everywhere. Gorgeous. So that one's been restored and it was done right.
These are all your modern 1950s and 60s buildings. And there's another one of those miniature Victorians. As I say, they're everywhere throughout the city, especially the east side. Even down here, although it's it's rough and it's run down, it wasn't always like this. Even that ugly building in front of me, that was once a beautiful building. It really was. That one here is kind of holding on. I almost like the buildings when they're they're kind of worn out looking like that. It's, it's almost like a, a sin to paint them because they show so much age and that will only happen once. It'll take another hundred years for a, you know, a building to look like that. There's three very old houses right here. And this area here, I'm, I'm going to attempt to do a, you know, a walkthrough video of this area, but there's always a lot of people here, so I'll have to do it at like 6 in the morning, you know what I mean? Because when you're filming, people always ask questions and I get distracted very easily. But we're not going to go down Maple Street right now. People always ask me if I... If I'm afraid to like bike around these areas and I'm like no no one gives me any hard time most people are just curious to what I'm doing and I just explain it to them but there's always Karen's you know what I mean some beautiful old brick buildings Even that green building right there, you can tell that that was once a, a gorgeous building. Something happened to it. Now we're close to the corner of Union Street. There's a beautiful brick building here that's affiliated with this church. I forget the name of this church. I've, I've done a documentary on this. I, I should I should know its name, but I forget. But it's beautiful. It's well kept up, and the grounds are gorgeous. So if I already filmed this, I apologize for repeating myself, as this is a very small city. That's a beauty. That kind of looks like an addition on the back side of it. And often in the alleys you'll see a lot of history as well. And I will be going over these buildings in detail at some point. But not on a Saturday because it's very busy here. But there's a lot of beautiful buildings here. Municipal buildings. And we'll continue down the Lowell Street. I always forget that high rise is there. That thing's neat looking. It really is. This church is also neat.
the Grace House. And we'll continue down to Elm Street and I'm just going to conclude this video. But I'll be making others that are very similar to this one. There's a lot of beautiful old neighborhoods in this in this city. So what I'll do in my uh, bike videos is I'm just gonna like jump on one road and just follow it all the way down just to document it. So I think that'll work out. And we'll take a left down this alley as I love the alleyways. Again, I'm getting distracted. But there used to be a ladder that, that was accessible where you could climb up it and get on top of one of these rooftops. We used to climb it when I was a teenager. But I don't think the ladder is present anymore. It was kind of sketchy. I'm going to conclude this video right here on what I believe it's Hanover Street. Yes, it is. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed.